Douglas, um, Star of Jupiter Ascending. It's a new film by the Wachowskis. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what it's like working with them? It, it's, it's mad, because everything that comes out of their head is original and out there, and they're always trying to do things that haven't been done before or trying to push things in new directions. Um, and they're, you know, the only real, some of the only real filmmakers who are going and working on a mass, massive scale, but sort of it being a completely original idea. You know, so many things are sort of cookie cutters of what have come before or based on, um, you know, uh, comic books or things like that. So it's great to work with sort of people that are passionate about sort of pushing original material out there on a big scale. And does that sort of intensity leap off the page when you read their scripts as well? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's quite confusing because you're reading things and you're like, you know, they have what their own own vocabulary for stuff that you you know. So you're trying to figure it out. Um, but as soon as you get in a room with them and st start seeing them and their storyboards, and you know, it, it takes someone about eight hours to try and describe even what is, you see on this poster here. So when you're reading about it, you know, it, it's quite hard. But when you actually see the world that they've created, they're the most detail-oriented directors uh, I, I've ever worked with. What's the experience like of being directed by two people as opposed to what you normally would have uh, in a single director? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, it, it it seemed they just seem to work so well together because they're they're not just um, they're not just two people that have come together and decided to direct together and they've been together for a couple of years. These are people that have gone through a lot of their their whole life together and 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 they've lived a lot of it and um, in an intense way and they've always always sort of been passionate about this kind of work. So they very much are on the same wavelength. Lana is definitely the one that comes out and is sort of more detail oriented about certain things. Um, and then Andy is kind of he does that as well. He comes and gives really detailed um, character notes as well. But you know, he's very much makes sure you know the the physical stuff, the cranes coming in here, this and that, which they, they kind of all, they do a perfect mix, mix match. But um, yeah, it's just a seamless thing. It's just, it's interesting. You never I never even thought I was being directed by two people. It kind of felt like one. Yeah, and in terms of the film, you play uh, one of three siblings. Yeah. What's the relationship like between you guys uh, off camera? Did you work a while on developing that relationship? Yeah, no, I mean, I've known Eddie since I was six, 16 years old. So I'd known him for a while, and, and Tuppence is, is another young British actress, actor. So um, I would kind of knew her well before. So that was kind of easy to kind of get that kind of going on. And yeah, no, it, it, was, it, was, it was just kind of pleasant. But it was funny. Sometimes I would see Eddie, because we were often doing lots of kind of physical training before we started, you know, to try and, to try and look like these sort of uh, regenerated human beings. And um, we'd often see each other in the gym and like going past each other, like, how's it going for you? How's it on your spaceship? I'd be like, it's great. How's your spaceship? It's like, oh, it's all right. Yeah. So, and have you had a chance to see Eddie in um, Fear of Everything yet? Not yet. I need to see it before Sunday. Um, but I, I think he's, I hear he's probably going to win. So, you know. I'm not, not inside information, I just hear that people have seen it. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely not. I don't think the BAFTA is that corrupt. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no. Excellent. And my final question is, one of the films I'm really excited about is seeing is uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yes. I love the book. Um, but when I try and describe it to everyone, they just either, they don't believe it's a real thing or I have a hard time explaining it. Yeah, I, try and explain it. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I think people in England often are slightly confused by it. In America, people understand it because it was a New York Times bestseller and they're not so prudish over the source material. Um, but it's, it's not like a zombie film in the sense where you've got, you know, one protagonist being chased from A to B or, or uh, someone trying to save their family. It's kind of like a look at society. It's like that's the sto all the story beats um, hold up. So it's kind of the same story, just how would that story survive if they were having to survive through like a 70 year plague of zombies? And, and, and how, how would the upper classes maintain their way of life? How would they keep going on living the way they do? And how would they have to adapt? And I think that is what's really interesting. That's a kind of different, different kind of zombie movie and a zombie movie I'd want to see. And yeah, it's great. I had so much fun filming it and it just, I feel like it turned out well, so fingers crossed. And have you got anything else lined up after that? I do, uh, which I can't talk about yet. Excellent. All right, I'll tell right. you next time. Thanks for that. I look forward to it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you Cheers, very much. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!